So I'll start with router 4. You could start with either router 2 or router 4, it doesn't matter. So let's go to EIGRP. So router EIGRP 100. So redistribute. The protocol that we're going to redistribute is OSPF. Process ID is 1. We need to specify a seed metric. So I'm simply going to specify some arbitrary values here. You can specify whichever values you like. You essentially need some kind of seed metric. Routes from other routing protocols will not be redistributed into EIGRP until you specify a seed metric. Now I'm going to use a route map to ensure that we don't have routing loops. We've been told to use tags in this lab and to do that, I'm going to use a route map. So show run section EIGRP shows that we are redistributing OSPF process ID 1. Here's our seed metric, but we will only redistribute routes into EIGRP based on a route map. So again, we've been told to use tags. Now for my sanity, I'm going to specify a tag on the left hand side of 10. This will allow me to keep track of the tags I'm using. And on the right hand side, I'm going to specify a tag of 20. So routes that get redistributed into EIGRP are going to have a tag of 10. Routes that get redistributed into OSPF are going to have a tag of 20. So we need to specify a route map. So route map name is going to be OSPF into EIGRP. And I'm going to start off with a deny statement. Anything that matches a tag of 20 is not going to be redistributed into EIGRP. So in other words, if this route 1.1.1.1 is redistributed into OSPF, I'm going to set a tag of 20. It's going to be advertised round to router 2 with a tag of 20. I'm not going to redistribute that back into EIGRP. And in the same way, if this route is advertised to router 2 and then is redistributed into OSPF, I'm setting a tag of 20, which means that when it gets to router 4, I'm not going to redistribute it back into EIGRP if it has a tag of 20. So any routes with a tag of 20 will not be redistributed back into EIGRP, but we will permit all other routes, but I'm going to set a tag of 10. So when routes are redistributed into EIGRP, I'm setting a tag of 10. When routes are redistributed from EIGRP to OSPF, I'm setting a tag of 20, but those tag routes will not be redistributed back into EIGRP, and I'm doing that to stop routing loops. So show run, use forward slash here, and I'll search for EIGRP. Here's our EIGRP configuration. Here are our route maps. Now I can essentially copy this to router two. So on router two, I'll simply paste the same configuration, and I can also copy this redistribution statement onto router two. So on router EIGRP 100, I'm gonna copy the same configuration. Show run, begin EIGRP allows me to view the configuration from EIGRP. And what you'll notice is essentially both router four and router two have the same configuration. So router EIGRP, router EIGRP, redistribute OSPF, redistribute OSPF, route maps are the same on both routers. So that's the EIGRP redistribution. Next step is to redistribute EIGRP into OSPF. So in the OSPF process, we're going to redistribute EIGRP autonomous system 100 routes in OSPF, we want to specify the subnets keyword because we want the individual subnets to be redistributed and not a summary route only. We're going to specify a route map where we redistribute EIGRP into OSPF. And again, we're going to create this route map of EIGRP into OSPF, deny 
number five. Now, just a note, we don't have to specify a seed metric in OSPF. It has a default seed metric. Now we're doing the opposite of the EIGRP redistribution. And actually, just before I do that, I made a mistake on that route map. Be careful with your route map statements. I made that mistake. So when routes go from EIGRP into OSPF, we are going to deny tag 10. In other words, when we redistribute routes from EIGRP into OSPF, we don't want to redistribute routes that are tagged with number 10. And that's because when routes such as this route 3.3.3.3 are redistributed into EIGRP, we're going to tag them as 10. And when they come round, we don't want to redistribute those routes back into OSPF, because otherwise we'll have a routing loop. So next statement is route map EIGRP into OSPF, permit 10, set tag to 20. This can get confusing, and that's why I like to have tag 10, tag 20 in the diagram, so that I remember which tags are set where. So here's my EIGRP configuration, here's my OSPF redistribution, and EIGRP into OSPF looks like that. I'm going to copy that to router 2. Same thing gets done on router 2. And I'll copy this redistribution statement into router OSPF1 on router 2. So on router 2, as a summary, I'll search for EIGRP. We've got OSPF redistributed into EIGRP. We've got EIGRP redistributed into OSPF based on these route maps. Notice that they are mirror images of one another. OSPF to EIGRP is denying tag 20. EIGRP to OSPF is denying tag 10. OSPF to EIGRP is setting tag 10. EIGRP to OSPF is setting tag 20. So basically, mirror images of one another.